A good number of Marvel Cinematic Universe content is heading to Disney Plus in cinemas in 2023 and 2024. From new titles to trailers and so many first looks, at D23 Expo 2022, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige took to the stage to share a slew of new announcements at Phase 4 wraps up and Phase 5 kicks off. What do they have coming for fans in these unveiled contents? Let's find out in the video so make sure you stick around with me to the end. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Fans anticipation of the D23 Expo event. It was quite a busy day for Marvel at this year's D23 Expo, with the studio making a number of announcements about the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The D23 Expo event was highly anticipated by Marvel fans who were looking forward to announcements and trailers. Perhaps not everyone is pleased with the absence of trailers for Fantastic Four or Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. However, enough material has been made public to please a good number of fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe MCU. Let's look specifically at some of the projects that were talked about, which includes movies, TV series, and specials. Let's start with Loki Season 2. Filming for Loki Season 2 is currently underway. I just learned new information about the series during the panel dedicated to Marvel Studios during the D23 Expo. A few weeks ago, videos of filming locations from the Loki series were shared on social media. Just a year ago, the first season went live on Disney+, and we can say that the success was there. In Loki, Tom Hiddleston reprises his role as the God of Mischief. The six episodes of the series follow directly from the movie Avengers Endgame. As a reminder, Loki was killed by Thanos at the start of the Infinity War movie. However, an alternative version of the character, called Variant in the series, escaped using the Tesseract. Following the return of the Avengers in 2012, Loki, arrested by the court of anacrostic variations, will thus live new adventures accompanied by other characters. The TV show introduces the notion of multiverse. Associated with the character of Kang slash Immortus, it is Jonathan Majors who plays the one who remains, who will play this antagonist well known to comic book lovers. It will be found among others in the Marvel film Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which will be released in 2023. The cast of Loki is enriched in the second season. During the D23 Expo, images of season two of Loki were shown exclusively to the public present on site, Saturday, September 11th. I also learned new information regarding the cast. Owen Wilson, Morbius, Gugu Mbagatha-Ra, who plays Judge Renslayer, Sophia Di Martino, Sylvie, and Wanmi Musaku, B-15, will reprise their roles in future episodes. Kei Hui Kwan joins the cast of the second season. I do not yet know the role in which we will discover the actor, seen this year in the film Everything Everywhere All at Once. Season 2 should show the consequences of the acts committed by Sylvie, who chose to kill the one who remains. In the last episode of season one, the multiverse should take a big place in the future of the series. Next, we'll look at the unveiling of Echo. The TV series presented exclusively to those present at D23 Expo is really very interesting. The Direct reported that Vinny D'Onofrio appears in the video as Kingpin, with a blindfold covering one eye. This could tie into the Hawkeye series finale, which left viewers in doubt whether Kingpin, aka Wilson Fisk, had died or somehow survived Echo's gunfire, Kingpin may therefore have suffered injuries related to this episode. Additionally, protagonist Echo, aka Maya Lopez, in one scene has her hands glowing. It could be due to a dream or a vision, but it can also be assumed that Echo gains powers in the MCU series of the same name. Hey Ironheart fans, here is what I got for you from the D23 Expo. Riri Williams, aka Ironheart, will will first appear in the MCU in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So when the TV series dedicated to her arrives on Disney+, Plus, the public will have already had the opportunity to know her. Riri is a young woman with a skill similar to Tony Stark's in armor crafting. In the series, she will build one for herself, becoming the superhero Ironheart. During Expo D23, an exclusive video was shown to those present in the hall. In this film, The Hood also appears. Collider reported that The Hood uses magic, 
and Kevin Feige commented on how new it is for the MCU to combine the mystical superpowers of wizards with the technological ones of Ironheart. Let's take it further to check out other Marvel Cinematic Universe contents that were unveiled at D23 Expo 2023. What was revealed to Daredevil fans? Let's find out. The new Daredevil Born Again series logo was shown at the D23 Expo, which you can see in the first image of this tweet from the official Daredevil account. In the other photos, you can see Charlie Cox and Vinny de Onofrio's interpreters of Daredevil and Kingpin respectively, as well as Kevin Feige wearing his characteristic baseball cap. No further information has been released about Daredevil, which will go into production in 2023. Just a quick one, Daredevil will also appear in one or more of the upcoming She-Hulk episodes. Next up, Captain America New World Order. The Captain America New World Order movie promises to be interesting and full of connections to the MCU world. The villain will be the boss, aka Samuel Stearns, a character audience already knew from the 2008 movie The Incredible Hulk. Two minor characters were also announced who will return to the MCU, and they are Elder Isaiah Bradley and Joaquin Torres, the military set to be the second Falcon. And finally, from D23, they also announced that a new superheroine will make her appearance in Captain America New World Order in the person of Israel Sabra. The Marvel Studios produced film will be the first in the Captain America franchise to have Anthony Mackie behind Cap's mask effectively formalizing a handover that has already taken place. Indeed, in the series, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier Sam Wilson has some doubts about his role as heir to Steve Rogers, the first Captain America. Eventually, however, he accepts his transfer and becomes the first black Captain America. Are you a Werewolf by Night fan? You might want to pay serious attention here. The Werewolf by Night trailer released at the unveiling is truly captivating. At D23 Expo, Marvel Studios unveiled the trailer for the Halloween special titled Werewolf by Night. The special will be directed by Michael Giacchino. Werewolf by Night will feature some classic monsters from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, such as the Werewolf, who will be the protagonist. The actor chosen for the role of Werewolf is Gail Garcia Bernal. Also with him will be actress Laura Donnelly, set to play Elsa Bloodstone, a well-known monster hunter in the Marvel comic universe. The video is entirely in black and white. If the trailer were indicative of the special's color choice, it would be the first MCU produced entirely in black and white from start to finish. Plus, right from the title, there's a taste for old horror movies, with a vibe that's particularly reminiscent of the 40s and 50s. Could there be any connection between Werewolf by Night trailer and Loki? In my opinion, the biggest surprise of the trailer is the recognition of Time Variance Authority, TVA agents. This creates a direct link with the Loki series. What could be the reason? Perhaps a mysterious experiment by a mad scientist. A recurring theme in horror caused a variant to be born. Another speculation is that Werewolf himself, played by Gail Garcia Barnal, took action he never should have creating a Nexus event himself. If so, it would be the same type of violation of VAT laws that Loki was responsible for in the Disney Plus series of the same name. Another nice surprise from this trailer is seeing Laura Donnelly as Elsa Bloodstone. The actress is known for the film Tolkien and for the television series Le Nevers. In the video, she appears very charming and confident, although at the end, she looks scared and in danger. What dark threat hangs over Elsa? We will find out out very soon as the Werewolf by Night special will be available on Disney Plus streaming platform on October 8th, 2022. Also considering that Marvel fans on social media are asking for the second season of Moon Knight, perhaps their thirst for the dark moods in the house of Marvel can be quenched by this special that promises to be delicious. Black Panther Wakanda Forever was not left out. An excerpt from the film Black Panther Wakanda Forever was shown only to the public attending Expo D23. According to Le Direct, the video shows the Queen of Wakanda speaking to the UN Council about the arrival of Vibranium on the market. In the clip, there are also two fights, the Dora Milaje against a group of soldiers and Namor alias Submariner against M'Baku. These scenes fit well with statements made at D23 Expo. Wakanda Forever will focus on nations seeking to steal resources from Wakanda, 
one of the richest and most technologically advanced nations in the world. So that concludes today's video. If you found the video helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. Also, let me know in the comments section the Unveiled series that excites you the most. Thanks for watching. See you next time.